If you're looking to make transactions on the Phantom Network, using MetaMask is a convenient way to do it. In this video, I'll show you how to set up the MetaMask wallet and connect the Phantom Network to it. So let's get started. So I'm going to begin at my desktop and I have Google Chrome here opened up. And I'm going to install MetaMask. If you haven't done it already, you just go to metamask.io and you can click on the download link over here. Select the device that you're using. I'm doing this on a Windows 10 PC and I'm using Chrome. So I'm going to leave that as is. And then I'll click on install MetaMask. It's going to take us to the Chrome Web Store. We can click on add to Chrome and then add extension. So there we go. We get a prompt over here. Uh, you can turn on syncing, but it's going to install it automatically. And we have it all set up. In this video, I'm going to be setting up an existing wallet, but if you want to set up a completely new wallet, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps of creating a new one. So I'm going to import my wallet right now and I'm going to say, I agree. And I just need to put in my secret phrase here. I'll put in a password as well and then check the agreement to terms of use and then click on import. And now we have it all done. So it's set up. So MetaMask is now installed. Okay. And now we're ready to add Phantom to the MetaMask wallet. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a new tab over here and put in this URL and it's taking us directly to the Phantom website. You want to make sure that you're always getting your server information from the source. You definitely don't want to get from any third party because you don't want to get your wallet hijacked or funds missing or there's a whole bunch of problems that you can run into. I'll make sure I put this link in the description below and I'll just separate my tabs right now and put them side by side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be adding the network to MetaMask and we have all the information we need right over here on MetaMask. I'm just going to click up here at the top and we're going to add a new network and we just have to simply enter in all this information that we have here. Uh, so the network name is going to be this pasted over and the new RPC URL and then paste it in chain ID is 250 and the currency symbol is FTM paste that in Explorer highlight that and then paste it in. I might have a space here. So we put everything in that we need and then what we can do is scroll down and then click on save. And you can see that we've successfully added it to the network. So we can close out of this browser and expand it. And now what we can do is we can test it out. So to test it out, we'll just actually go to one of the phantom websites right here. And we're going to connect using our MetaMask wallet right now to test it out. So we have this option over here to connect wallet. And then we have the options of wallets that are available. We're going to be using MetaMask. We'll click on that. And it's going to go just through an authentication process here. So we have the phantom wallet automatically selected. You can click on next. And then it's just letting you know that it wants to connect here. So we have to click on the connect button. And there we go. So it's added MetaMask to it. And there is our wallet address. We can add it. And now we're connected to F wallet. So that is how you set up the MetaMask wallet with the Phantom Network. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel go a long way. If you're interested in more tutorials like this, please subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more tutorials coming out. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. And once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll catch you on the next one.